what's like different for you now between where you were when Levi first passed away to like how you're coping with everything at the moment? So obviously I wasn't going to school at the start, but now I'm in school like half days. Um, then obviously I'm doing the voluntary in the youth club, yeah. which is good. Um, it just gets me out the house, so I'm yeah. not as like, like down in that. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm much more stronger now yeah. than I was back then because obviously it's coming up to three years. So I've kind of had to like deal with, like not deal with it, but like get to terms with it. Yeah, definitely. And how did like, because I met you in, I think it was like, maybe like four or five months ago now? Yeah. It's so not that long ago. No. And how do you think that's like, the stuff we've been doing, like how has that helped you like get back into school and stuff? Yeah, like it's made my confidence so much better and like, like I'm not so like, oh like it's school, like yeah. I actually enjoy it. Like, and I never thought that I'd enjoy school. Yeah. But like actually getting up and like going to school, doing my work, like it's, got such a big difference. Yeah. No, nah, that's so good. And what's like, so you've been meeting me, we usually meet on the Monday, don't we? Yeah. In the community centre in Gabalfa, just like up the road from here. Yeah. And what's, what sort of stuff have we, have we done? So we do like cooking. Yeah. And like, just like talking, which is good. Yeah. Um, because obviously it takes me a lot to like open up. Yeah. Um, and with you, like, I just felt like it was so easy mm. to, like, open up and, yeah. And we found, like, we were saying when we were walking down, weren't we, like, when I first, like, walked up with you, like, from here yeah. to the centre, like, Literally. it was... And I was quite, like, I was quite shy and I yeah. didn't want to talk and I was just like, oh, like, didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. And now I feel like if i got a problem, like, I can just come and, like, yeah. It's like no trouble. Yeah, definitely. And what did you like about being like meeting with your youth mentor or like in your community? Oh yeah, it was like, it was so good because it felt like, obviously you've got your teachers, you've got your family, you've got your friends, but it's like that some other person that's not like, like, oh, like what's what like to get me? Like yeah. it's just like a friend like that you can go to. Yeah, definitely. And using, like we went like in the centre in Cabalfa, like your brother used yeah. to like go there as well, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, which is comforting. Yeah. Um, and now obviously my younger brother goes there. Yeah. So it is really nice. Yeah, do you want to say a bit about like what we've started doing on a Monday? Cause you're quite from like having a youth mentor yeah. and like engaging with Cardiff Youth Service, you're quite like, interested in doing a bit of getting into youth work yeah. yourself now, aren't you? So, like, I've always wanted to work with children, because obviously yeah. what I've been through, I wouldn't want anyone else to go, for, like, through the pain that like, yeah. my family's going through and me. So I asked, obviously, you and Craig, like, if I yeah. could voluntary and, like, just get some work experience. And obviously you said, yeah, and, <laughs> like, I'm You're going like, yeah, there, so literally. 100%. Um, and obviously I'm going there every Monday, yeah. which is good because obviously my little brother comes, so it's yeah. good, like getting him out of trouble and everything. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, it is really good. Like it's like our responsibility. Yeah. Like a hundred percent. And you're gonna start. What did Craig say he's gonna oh, like, yeah. put you on? He said he's gonna put me on like um, a course, and like by the age of seventeen, they like feel like I'll be qualified to be a youth worker yeah it was which, like senior leaders wasn't yeah it? and then level two hopefully literally youth which work. is amazing because i never thought like obviously losing levi like i never thought i'd be into school yeah or, like, i never thought i'd get out of that like hole that i was in yeah. and obviously like that opportunity is just amazing yeah. like and would you say you like speak more yeah to teachers and like the staff in school now, yeah, we've literally. got a bit more confidence. I feel like to... I'm not as shy anymore. Yeah. Like if I got a problem, I can speak to them. Yeah. Like in the beginning, I was just like, oh, like I don't want to speak to anyone. Yeah. And 
you know, it was kind of hard because obviously I didn't know what I was like, the feelings I was meant yeah, to say or definitely. everything. Hard to like express yourself sometimes, yeah. isn't it? Especially in school, in that environment and sometimes you need to know when it's okay to stand up and be like actually yeah. like I'm not all right today literally and I feel like it's coming to terms with like okay like I'm having a down day yeah like I always kind of just pushed it away yeah definitely you said something to like me before when you said like when you're feeling down or you're feeling low you said you give yourself three days yeah and you let yourself feel those feelings and go through it all and then after those three days, you're like, right, okay, like, 100%. what can I do now? And that's something you've taught me. And yeah. something like, if I'm feeling like, we all have yeah. rubbish days, don't we? And we struggle with our mental health, and anxiety and everything. And now, yeah, sometimes when I'm feeling a bit low about something or something's Literally. happened, I'll be like, right, Nevea says three yeah. days, and then I have to pull my socks up. Yeah. And I feel like get out and do I something give myself positive. like three days is because like, I know Levi wouldn't want me as down, yeah. like, obviously, like, and I just feel like he's always looking down, like, that's yeah. what gets me through. Um, yeah, and obviously, like, all the signs I get, like, all the time. Yeah. Um, which is just literally amazing. But yeah, you see him in different places, don't you? Literally, yeah. like, obviously, like, I say, like, I give myself three days, but, like, if it takes longer, like, it well, takes yeah, longer. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, You've got to let yourself feel those feelings sometimes, yeah. be able to come through them rather than just pushing them aside. Yeah, literally. Are, those are the dates, aren't they? Yeah. Right so there. Yeah. The top one's obviously his birthday, um, and then the bottom when yeah. he passed away. You see that though, like 2018, and you think like that can't be three Literally. years ago, and like it is, Honestly, which is mad. It is, um, yeah. It's mental. Crazy. Literally. And quite a few of the staff that were. Ingebalfa, like they yeah, used they to work him. with him as well, didn't they? Yeah, literally, which is comforting as well. Yeah. Um, really comforting. Yeah, definitely. Literally, because obviously they have like their own memories. And yeah. Like, that's why I like to like talk to his like best friends or like people around the family yeah. because obviously they have different memories to me. Yeah, and, like, and stuff that you might not know and like yeah. just new stories literally. or like anecdotes. Which are cool. But yeah, yeah. Really. yeah really nice, nice to like yeah yeah, yeah it's so nice it's like yeah. nice and bright as well yeah it's nice and, and bright and it's like his favorite color is like like blue and like yeah it stands out yeah yeah definitely and it's got like like a halo on yeah. top yeah yeah literally and that's the eye like, yeah yeah that's cool I didn't really know it's that nice cool. mm -hmm. yeah oh, that's yeah so really nice, nice. yeah